bathroom down here with my Jesus safe sign. Ooh, it's kind of dirty, but you know, they get the point. I'm trying to be out here blessing folks. <laughs> you know, I ain't want to come and do this no more because, you know, what the police been doing to black people. You know, and I saw that woman, you know, the police shot that woman, that pregnant woman, and killed her. It just, I was like, Lord, I'm not going out here no more. Last time I was out here, cops said something to me. He was like, good job, but I'm nervous around police now. But you know, God got an agenda. So, you know what I'm saying? You not your own. I, I'm not comfortable out here no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm not comfortable out here. But you're not your own. You know, you belong to Christ. You know, I've been doing this for years. I used to do this in the freezing cold. I go and stand on the bridge. You know what I'm saying? With my side gloves, hat, coat. It'd be cold in a mug. I'd be standing on the bridge. Have my little face, uh, my face covered and everything. But I ain't do it because my face was covered. I did it because God wanted me to. But I really like, you know, I don't mind being in the cold. I'm from Pittsburgh, so, you know, you be out in the cold. But nonetheless, so I'm not comfortable doing this anymore. But, you know, I don't have a lot of money, but I got a lot of time. So, you know, I belong to God. So he's like, do something with your time. So, you know, I do things with my time. This is what I do. I got to... I can't just do what I want to. Oh, oh, that was sick. That was sick. That was sick. That was nice. That was a nice Dodge Challenger. Anyway, so I'm out here doing my thug nizzle. Let these people know that Jesus saves because Jesus does save. Uh, Yahshua. His name wasn't Jesus. His name was Yahshua. Yah. Just like his father's name is Yahweh. <laughs> name was Yah. Yahshua. Yahshua the Christ. Not Yahshua Christ. He was a Christ. Just like you can be a Christ. A sacrificial lamb. You gotta sacrifice your time for God. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, be a Christ. That's what it is. That's what being a Christ is. Sacrifice, giving your life to God. That is a Christ. That's what Christ means. But, you know, these preachers are trying to tell you different things that just ain't true. I'm going to tell you the truth. You know what I'm saying? God cares about if you love him or not. And if you love him, he says, feed his flock. So you got to go out and tell people, you know, Christ loves them and they can be saved. You know what I'm saying? Because there's so many people that won't make it to heaven. But your job is to try to get people into heaven. Glory to God. Your, your job is to go out and minister to them. You might have to go it alone. You might have to just stand and hold a sign and, you know, pray for somebody every now and then. You know what I'm saying? You might have to do it all in quiet, in secret. That's fine with the Lord. The Lord just wants to know whosoever will. That's what the Lord cares about. Are you going to go? Because I've been wrestling with the Lord all day about this. I'm like, I don't want to do this but you know I, I'm not I don't belong to myself it's hard to get me out here because I'm afraid now see God is dealing with something different now you know when God deals with the flesh he wrestles with the flesh you know what I'm saying because of principalities that are against the the, the, the spirit of the Lord that's where the battle is but now a new element has entered in the fray for me, you know, and it's the police. 
You know, they're not they're not out here to protect and serve. You know, I see too many people getting done wrong, and I'm like, they're mostly black men. Black women are getting it too, black children too, but most of the time it's the black men, and I'm a black male. So I'm afraid of this. And in my fear, I have to realize that, you know, I can't come out and do this as much as I used to and feel safe. That jag is so sick. Boy, you did your thing with that jag. Yeah, Brembo brakes on it and everything. That's what I'm talking about. So, yeah. Anyways, that's where I'm at. Thank you guys for stopping by and talking to me. You know, yes, I have a fist pick in my hair. And yes, I have an afro. What up, though? My afro. <laughs> But yeah, man, Jesus saves. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself saved if you're not. If you're one of them people who trying to figure out does Jesus save or not, you know what you need to do? Ask him. Ooh, I see you, sugar sister. I see you. She got an afro. I think that was one of my old, my, one of my old girlfriends. Might have been. Attitude and everything. She was a sugar sister. I had one of my afros. Man, she was all right. You know what I'm saying? I think about giving me another lady friend, but I don't know. I don't really want to deal with the silliness, jealousy, and goofiness. I'm old. I want to deal with all that. I don't want to deal with, you know, your feelings. Feel for somebody else while you're dealing with me. I don't. I don't know. I, I'm playing solitaire right now. I'm cool with that. Cause you know people ain't right today. They'll play with you. They'll mess with you. I ain't with all that. Yeah, don't hit nobody. Cause you're rolling around on them. Uh... <laughs> Bro got them little LA wheels hitting switches. Anyways, your boy Tone 202, man. God loves you and so do I. I'm out.